says Nanti Ganga. And me a chop life, live right, soft life, and I stay get some money. Me I no go envy when my bag they bless me. Took some time, I'll get my mind right. Here for my crown, all the time's right. I go give them what they don't expect. I not go tell them, say me, I came up from nothing. I did hustle my own thing. Me, I no go fear nobody. Only God talk out for me. And me go on my desk, girl. She I'm on my knees while I'm begging. Cause I don't wanna lose you. Hey, hey, hey. That time, that time. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Aweli here again. <laughs> guys, so this is not the main video, but I just had to say it. I just had to start this vlog. So guys, you know we Nigerians, we do not like to rest. We like going to the market. So guys, I just discovered this. I've been hearing about it. This wholesale food wholesale market in Birmingham. So guys, guess what? I'm going there tomorrow. Yes, I am going to stress myself. I don't know what I'm going to do because I'm not going to go with my baby. I can't go with her, but I just have to go and see what I'm going to buy and how it is. And of course, I'm going to vlog for you guys. I'm going to carry you guys along because ah, uh, let's discover this together because I know now we Nigerians, of course, as long as it's okay. Once I do this video and I drop, <laughs> I know a lot of people that would like to go as well. So guys, I'm going for you guys tomorrow, not just for me, just to go and see how it is know the prices of things know what they sell there the things that are available so i pick this up from tomorrow and they said the market is like it's not i don't know why i'm calling the market it's not like a market because i know this they don't do market market let's check when i get it tomorrow we'll see how it is so they said it's um 3 a.m to 11 a.m so by 5 5 i'm out of the house i have to i want to go there early they said you have to go early so let's see how it goes i'll pick this up from tomorrow yeah so guys i'll see you later bye bye <laughs> hello guys good morning good morning yeah it's quite early it's 5 a.m so guys i'm on my way to the hostel market like because my hair looks really rough no one told me i didn't know that to cut hair itself is not easy like guys since i bought this hair i've bought it like again it's not just been three weeks i like, about to cut my hair and now i have to cut it again like it just keeps growing and getting full and getting scattered i don't know actually i will carry it like this i don't know i don't understand how i look oh, and i just carry it like that because guy way to the market anyhow i look so so on my way out now um, um like, let me just pick up this vlog let me start this vlog so guys if this is your first time on this channel before you go further into this video please subscribe subscribe please just click the subscribe button okay like comment and share and of course encourage me in the comment section by telling me that you like what i do and you like okay you know what i'm doing okay and I encourage me you i'm gonna find out more markets for you guys and you know keep filming and keep vlogging okay it's something i think i would like to do like you know we need to different market and it's not going to be birmingham if you encourage me well i'm going to extend it to like other cities okay okay guys so guys let's go hopefully it's not like the we'll see market you know this one is that is early morning market because it markets from 3 30 a.m to 11 30 hope it's not like all this yanova market or trade fair market or any one let us go let us go see how it is so guys i'm leaving now when i get outside i'm going to show you guys how outside is by 5 a.m mm -hmm. so guys see you later so guys you don't believe that it's just 5 a.m i'm going to enter my cab now then i'll be going to pick up my friend he stays not so far from where i live I'm picking up up Hi guys, um, I had to throw, quickly throw this cap on. We just got to the market. This is not market too, because I don't even know. It still looks like a shopping it's center. Crazy. Yeah, just that, like, I think they sell things in Katon. I'm going to show you guys what outside looks like right now. So, this is it. You can see where they wrote Birmingham Wholesale Market. So, this is what, like, <laughs> guys, this place is very big. It's like, I think it's just like a factory where they bring, you know, stuff straight from the farms and stuff like that. So, mm -hmm. So guys, I decided to do a voiceover for some parts of this vlog. 
so you can see we are at the wholesale market now guys <laughs> we got into this place and we were confused like we didn't know where to start from like there were just stuffs everywhere and we were early it just seemed like we were one of the first people there and we didn't even know where to start from and the person that was supposed to take us around the market wasn't here yet but we just had to start you know looking around and then we started with seeing like tomatoes but at some point we saw people carrying trolley and we figured we had to get our own trolley too so we asked around and they showed us where to get the trolley from so this is our trolley this is what the trolley looks like very big i was like what kind of big trolley is this i didn't even know this is what is needed so we saw the fish meat and poultry section and yeah we had to go there because that's like my main reason for coming to this market guys meat is important i can't be buying one meat every day i can't be managing meat i need to eat meat for life for health of course <laughs> so we saw meat guys meat choco <laughs> we saw oxtails we saw pig feet we saw chicken chicken feet chicken breast turkey um shaki cow leg um cow skin we saw meat guys if it's meat meat day but you get money with some meat then we saw gizzards guys we saw good meat i solely came here to buy good meat but see price they were calling for me goat meat is expensive this one you are seeing like this alone now is 10 pounds goat meat was expensive then we went to the fish side we saw the um crab lobster i think i even saw octopus guys that was a joke i don't know if i saw octopus but i saw shrimps i saw i saw prawns i saw snapper mackerel tilapia croaker um um fish um hick like fish were of just do you know the fish like someone was even like that she wants to buy snapper but me i could not get snapper because i've not eaten snapper before so we were done there we decided to go back to the fruits section and then guys we saw fruit see watermelon see strawberries but i was like let's not buy that first let's be sure of what we came here to buy you know and you know fruits they spoil so we weren't really sure guys we saw sugar cane i was like come on come let's buy sugar cane oh, see sugar cane i never see sugar cane since i come to this country we saw sugar cane we saw um i don't know what this fruit is but someone said it's dragon fruit that is really nice but we're going to risk like just you know leaving what we came to buy to start buying fruit we saw apple i really wanted to buy even at the end of the day like i had change on me i wanted to buy fruit but nobody was willing to buy because you can't buy alone and keep you know fruits will spoil you can't put this in the freezer so i had to like share with like two or three people but nobody was willing to buy food the only food they what they wanted to buy was banana so guys you can see fruits fruit sugars even food that i don't know their names at some point i even saw food that was looking like a ball or more do you know udara udara cherry i was like see cherry you we we're asking the people what they were like they don't know what we we're talking about so guys you oh, see you see fruits there was fruits in this market but the next time i'm going to look for someone i'm sharing fruits with i need to guy buy fruits like the fruits were so fresh you could see that they were just fresh from the farms so we saw fruits we saw um spinach we saw um okra we saw onions we saw tomatoes guys at this point look at my trolley now are you seeing how full it is trolley that was completing that was big and we were not even done buying we saw yam we saw plantains um we saw um a lot of stuffs guys like a lot of stuffs like a lot this market was amazing and i suppose even came ac across like an african store i know you know our african brothers they always set up a shop everywhere anyway we saw plantation but guys this plantation was expired it was when i got home i realized it was expired i saw indomie i bought indomie i saw fufu kondo um semo then I saw this fruit that looked like um, a souvenir, like a gift basket. And guys, we are still searching for pepper because the peppers we are seeing were expensive. The person that came with us said that peppers used to cost like eight pounds, but all the peppers we are seeing were like twenty something and so. At this point, guys, we were done buying and it was time to go home. So we booked our Uber and you know. That's so guys, we just finished buying right now. Like this place is actually amazing. Look at you can see our store. So waiting for our Uber to come. <laughs> but if you're coming, guys, it, you can see the way I'm covering up. Guys, this place is so cold. Like inside, I think it's free Jabi freezer. I don't know. It's so cold inside. It's even but you know, I think that even outside is warmer. 
Outside, can't even better pass that inside, please. Outside, better. Yeah, sir. Like that inside is so outside. cold. So ah, cold, so dude. cold. Like you have to like wear your gloves, wear your jacket, cover up, guys, cover up. But I told you I brought them. I think not one fifty. I think yeah, one fifty. And when I get home, Sha, when I'm unboxing, you're gonna know the prices of things, and you're going to yeah. Let's see if I got like I had to change from the one fifty. But yes, I have changed. Yeah. So and I bought like a lot, a lot. I bought banana. I even saw him doing me like. Africa store, I saw planting all those things. So, guys, I'll pick up the vlog when I get home. So, for now, bye. Me, I no go envy when my bag they bless me. Took some time, I'll get my mind right. Here for my crown, all the times right. I go give them what they don't expect. I no go tell them, say me, I came up from nothing. I did hustle my own thing. Me, I'm yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> This is yes, yeah, yeah. See how I left by five o'clock. It's already eight thirty nine, guys. Eight thirty nine. How I left by five? I don't know. I think yeah, you, that's you have to come early because yeah. Yeah, by the time you finish walking around and everything, yeah, you don't even know when the time has gone. So now I'm just gonna quickly stop at my friends' house. From my house, my house is not far. Straight, yeah. Share everything. Then we are done. So guys, I'll pick up the flow when I get home. Like I said, bye. Hmm. So guys, we are back now. It's time to arrange and share our stuff because you know we can't have it all. So we gotta share. <laughs> no one kill yourself with food. Oh. 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 Hold on. So we got okra. We got this okra for seventeen pounds. Guys, we got this big onion <laughs> for four pounds. Yeah. We didn't want to buy onion before. We just saw somebody, and this was so big. We asked the price, and sharp, sharp. We hurriedly went to carry our own. We got this banana. We shared it. The banana. Hey, this banana one is mashed. Oh. We got um this is not this is not one carton, this is like half of the carton. We were three, so we shared the banana. We we're four. We four. got four, four, like four, yeah. This is like quarter of it. So we got the banana for 19 pounds, but after sharing one person 4.75, which has about five pounds. We got the tomatoes for how much do you say tomato? Hey, 15 pounds. Then we bought plantain. Plantain, we were three, we shared this plantain. We had three for 40 pounds. So one person 13 pounds. We got the plantain for 15 for no the yam for 15 pounds. Which I had like the people that went there they said it that they have gone it, they have gone there before. All the things that are now expensive, it was cheaper before. We got spinach for 10 pounds. This one was this is not the full carton, this is half. The full carton was 12, so I got half six pounds. Then we got catfish for six. So yeah, if you're sharing, then then go back. So we got turkey, carton of turkey for twenty pounds, and then we also got <clears throat> we also got drumstick, carton of drumstick for twenty pounds. So that's basically turkey. Then we got pepper, pepper for twenty pounds as well. They said the pepper was eight pounds. Oh, so everything is now expensive. So to see that this economy is everywhere, it's not just Nigeria, it's everything everywhere. And I saw like there's this African store that I saw in the video. I got this Indomie there for 11.50. I wanted to get another ball, like I was short on cash. And I got this um, plantain chips. So, in all, I see, I think I see from the 150, I still have like 10 pound change. Like the market is so worth it. We even got like, okay, this goat meat was expensive here yeah. 10 pound prawn. I got this prawn, 7 pound. Then this stuff, I think it's like 3.50 and four points so that's basically it though and that will be all for the <sighs> like i'm still covering myself because of i'm still cold like the cold there so you make sure you better keep up or the cold there was so much like the cold is still in my body so that'll be all for today's vlog video it's time for us to arrange if you enjoyed this video and if you watched up to this point please subscribe like and share okay guys thank you and share. yeah yeah <laughs> bye yeah.